Hello guys. So today we are going to start with AVES. Okay, so AVES. And in this video, we will be covering the class of AVES and mammals. Okay, let's start with AVES. So AVES is birds. We are covering with birds. So the study of birds, we call it as ornithology. And if you see the aves, they are developed at the end of Jurassic period of Mesozoic era. And uh, so you can see act actually the aves got developed from reptiles. Okay, so by the end of Jurassic period and of Mesozoic era, Mesozoic era is said to be the golden period for dinosaurs and reptiles as well. Okay, and the study of birds, we call it as ornithology. And Dr. Salim Ali is very famous ornithologist of India. So that's why he, uh, he's also said to be the bird man of India, Mr. Salim Ali. And the study of bird eggs, we call it as oology. This is nothing but study of birds eggs. And study of bird nest is nidology. bird nest. Birds are glorified reptiles stated by Huxley. Yes, they are the glorified reptiles. So Huxley is the one who has given this point. And yeah, from the rape, uh, birds got originated from reptiles. Arrangement of wings of the body is known as pyrilosis. Pyrilosis is arrangement of wings on the body of the bird. Uh, body is actually boat shaped. You can see the body is being divided into head, neck, trunk, as well as tail. And neck is long and flexible, actually. You can see very prominent neck. The body is covered by soft feathers. So, which is uh, the derivative of uh, stratum conium is present all over the body. That is called plumage. Okay. So, the entire feathers, we call it as plumage. So, which is actually derivative of the layer of stratum corneum. And scales are found only on the hind limbs. Scales are found only on the hind limbs. And the birds are warm blooded or homeothermic or endothermic. The body temperature remains almost constant. Skin is dry and skin doesn't have any glands actually. But oily glands or we otherwise call preen glands are found in the tail. So or we otherwise call it as urophysium, urophysium. And these glands will secrete oil which makes feathers soft and waterproof actually preen glands which is present on the tail actually there are two pairs of limbs and the birds are feathered bipeds four limbs with three digits are modified into wings so which helps for flying here four limbs are for flying and four clawed digits are present in the hind limbs they are uh, best adapted for perching, for walking on land or for swimming in water. So if you know there are certain interesting things about birds, how uh, the entire body parts are being modified or some of the body parts are minimized to modify for flight. So if you see in pigeon, Colombo, pigeon. So esophagus is modified into crop. 
for quick food digest ingestion and storage gizzard for crushing of food you can see the terminology crop and gizzard in two things one is for uh, birds and other one is for insects which will swallow the unmasticated food and you can see the pigeon milk will be secreted in both the sexes which is actually the crop crop product here from crop uh, you get the pigeon milk so it actually swallows the unmasticated food which is digested uh, in the gizzard but the food is stored in the crop okay let's see and both the sexes will produce us the milk let's see some of the modification that is been done for birds gall bladder is absent of course these things will minimize the bird weight so that helps for flying so gall gall bladder is absent and we have pre chambered cloaca cloaca you can see for amphibians reptiles as well as for birds so cloaca is there so don't have a separate apertures for urinary alimentary canal and reproductive so everything will be having the same thing which is cloaca and teeth is absent in jaws you can't find teeth the jaws are mo modified nothing but a horny beak the beak is toothless an epidermis horny sheet is present on the beak which we call it as the ramphotheca we have spongy lungs for respiration so lungs is there for respiration lungs respiration air sacs is also attached with the lungs lungs plus air sacs so forming the accessory respiratory organ that helps for flying sound producing organs are present at the junction of trachea and bronchi so we have the trachea bronchi at this junction we have a sound producing thing which we call it as syrinx so because of that birds will have a very uh, nice and louder voice heart is four chambered heart is four chambered hepatic portal system is very well developed so it has hepatic portal system but renal portal system is absent renal portal system is absent for both uh, mammals and apes so renal portal system renal portal system is absent and uh, but it is developed and vestigial so sinus meniscus are absent only right aorta will be there only aorta will be there rbc is nucleated you can see the rbc is nucleated in mammals uh, it is enucleated means absence of nucleus we have a small and oval so the number of rbc per cubic millimeter is maximum in birds among animals actually it is more than mammals also endoskeleton is bony the bony uh, the bones are light and air filled which we call it as pneumatic bones and these make the body light that helps for flying and skull is monocondylic monocondylic you see fishes also will be having monocondylic amphibians dicondylic and again reptiles you will be having monocondylic and again here it, it is also monocondylic so the centrum uh, we call it the centrum of vertebra is saddle shaped heterocelous we call it as heterocelous which we have a saddle shaped thing 
and some vertebra the posterior body portion was been joined to form synsacrum synsacrum is present because the sacral bone sacral bone is fused here and the last four caudal vertebra is fused to form pygostyle we have a large sternum we have a large sternum and we call that sternum as keel the keel offers a joint plane for flight muscles keel is highly developed in flying birds and uh, the birds ribs are bifid bifid ribs it has and the uncinate process are present in ribs exoskeleton is formed by soft feathers all over the body except the hind limbs will not have the feathers and we have the foramen triosus is found in the pectoral girdle actually we have two bones two clavical bones two clavical bones will fuse to form v shaped v shaped furcle or we otherwise call it as wish bone or merry thought bone call it as wish bone or merry thought bone uh, that will acts as a spring between two girdles actually but uh, for mammals there is no fusion of uh, two clavicles we don't have a wish bone so this all will bring the very easy for flight so and this wish bone will be absent for flightless birds this uh, furcula furcula sorry furcula is absent in flightless birds such as ostrich emu and the kidneys are metanephric which is trilobed kidney the kidneys are metanephric and ureters will open into cloaca urinary bladder is absent actually gall bladder is absent urinary bladder is absent the members are actually uricotelic because it excrete uric acid uric acid is a semi solid substance so the marine birds will excrete uh, we call it as uh, guano most of the birds do not have urinary bladder so urinary bladder is absent and brain is large smoothly and highly developed the cerebellum is well developed for aerial mode of flight we have cranial nerves 12 pairs cranial nerves are 12 pairs even the mammals also have 12 pairs of cranial nerves reptiles as well but amphibians will be having 10 pairs of cranial nerves and the skin around the nostrils is sensory in bird that is called cere and eyes are large well developed which is surrounded by rings made up of the bony plates in as sclerotic ossicles the eyes are large and nictating membrane is present the vision is monocular and the vision is monocular and a specific comb like structure so a specific comb like structure called pecten is found in the eyes of all birds except the kiwi eyes except for kiwi eyes pecten helps in accommodation of the eye and providing nutrition of eyeballs it controls the pressure of liquid present in the eye and the acute telescopic vision of birds is because of this pecten the vision is so sharp than the mammals 
external ears are present but ear pinna is absent and we have the only one ossicle found in the middle ear that is columella so we have columella bone only one ossicle which is a modified stapes and cochlea is present in the inner ear but it is not coiled so we have a cochlea as well olfactory organs are less developed are less developed and the birds are monodelphic monodelphic only left ovary only left ovary left oviduct is functional in females both right and left will be there only the left ovary and left oviduct are functional so the birds are unisexual and sexual dimorphism is very well marked the you can't see any copulatory organs for males and fertilization is internal fertilization and oviparous eggs are large we have uh, megalesical telolesical and cladoic shelled eggs cladoic is shelled eggs and megalestel means more yolk sac telolestel means polar yolk shell is perforated and the cleavage is meroblastic and discoidal embryonic development is direct there is no any larva like that and birds are included as amniota parental care is well marked and young ones without flower feathers is known as nidiculus because nidology means study of nest so nidiculus means that will stay in the nest itself or with few with feathers we call it as nidifugus so let's see some of the example corvus crow columba pigeon cytacula parrot tutio ostrich pavo peacock a national bird and aptinoditis aptinoditis penguin which is amphibian amphibian bird neophron vulture so primitive reptile like birds uh, like are included in this subclass and which belong to jurassic period all the members are extinct now so wings were ill developed capacity of flying is very less and phygo style was absent keel on sternum is also absent for that there are uh, three 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 clawed digits on four limbs and three edges of wings actually you uncinate process of on ribs are absent teeth are teeth were present in the jaws of the skull all members are the connecting link between reptiles and birds so let's talk about the archaeopteryx lithographica archaeopteryx lithographica so this is the lizard bird so extinct in uh, cretaceous period actually this fossil was been discovered by andreas wagner in the year 1861 from bavaria in germany 
okay archaeopteryx this is fossil this we otherwise call it as lizard bird Let's begin with the next thing, mammalia. So the mammalia are evolved in Triassic period of Mesozoic era. And Cenozoic era. is the golden era for mammals okay like mesozoic is era is the golden era for dinosaurs cenozoic era is the golden era of mammals the study of mammals is mammalogy and mammals uh, in this members the members in this class are cosmopolitan homeothermal Uh, endothermic skin of mammals is thick so we have thick skin and waterproof and glandular epidermal hairs are present actually epidermal hairs are present and these acts as a thermo resistant layer helps in maintaining the internal body temperature in aquatic mammals hair are lost and homeothermic condition is maintained by a layer of subcutaneous fat such as for dolphins and for blue whales there are two main types of glands that is present in skin one is sweat and the other one is sebaceous the sweat glands release sweat that helps in regulating the temperature it is secretory excretory in nature also it excrete excess of sodium excess of fat excess of salts as well sebaceous glands release only secretions keeping the skin hairs waterproof the body got divided into head neck trunk a horizontal diaphragm is present in the body cavity of all the members you can't see the diaphragm for uh, rep reptiles sorry not uh, reptiles sorry it is amphibians so cavity of all the members, and this is the class without any exception for all the things you can find the diaphragm the diaphragm is present between thorax and abdomen thorax you have the diaphragm abdomen and diaphragm helps in respiration defecation micturition and parturition there are so many types of glands that are present in the skin we have sweat glands oily glands or sebaceous glands or other thing is mammary glands mammary glands are modified sweat glands so mammary glands modified sweat glands found in females for baby feeding on the basis the class mammalia is so named other skin derivatives are nails claws hoof or horn or horn which provide protection two pairs of limbs are present in the trunk limbs are pentadactyl 
which helps in swimming walking running hind limbs are absent in we can't find the hind limbs for cetaceae which is uh, whales and sirenia elementary canal is complete we have anus urino genital apertures are separate no cloaca will be there so except in uh, prototherians remaining all you don't have uh, cloaca prototherian which is duck bill platypus and uh, echidna the teeth is thecodont thecodont heterodont diphyodont and jaw suspension is craniostylic and lower jaw is made up of uh, dentary bones so we have a paired pulmonary respiration a two pairs of lungs are there, two lungs a pair of lungs in plural cavity larynx is mainly for sound production larynx consists of vocal cords that is mainly for sound so that's why larynx we call it a sound box heart four chamber heart is four chamber and we have double circulation and only left aortic uh, systemic rbc is small circular enucleated rbc is enucleated and except for camel camel uh, llama in this the rbc is nucleated and endoskeleton is bony and the skull is dicondylic and the vertebrae is acless or amphiplatian so acless means uh, both anterior and posterior end of the vertebra surface of the vertebra are flat amphiselous means both anterior and posterior is concave okay and the proselous is anterior is concave and posterior is convex heteroselous which is found in birds so you will be having saddle type so neck have seven cervical vertebra and sloth have 9 to 10 vertebra neck usually we have seven but uh, sloth have uh, 9 or 10 cervical vertebra and sea uh, cow or mantis have six cervical vertebra six uh, cervical so ribs are bifid and the paired metanephric kidney are present in abdominal cavity and the animals are ureotelic because so the ammonia is converted into uh, urea in liver by chorus cycle or we otherwise called as urea cycle brain is comparatively large and high developed cerebrum cerebellum are very complex in structure and highly developed we have corpus callosum which is the connecting band between right, right and left hemispheres of brain corpus callosum so it is absent in uh, monotremes so it is absent in monotremes and marsupials
marsupials. So in kangaroos, in all those things, it is absent. So connects both cerebral hemispheres, that is corpus callosum. We have uh, four optic lobes, corpora, quadri, gemina are present and the cranial nerves are 12 pairs. External ear is present. We have the pinna, and it is made up of elastic cartilage. Auditory meatus, external auditory meatus is also there. We have malleus, incus, stapes. Our three ear ossicles are present in middle ear. In birds, you have only one ear ossicle that is columella. Even in reptiles also, you have one ear ossicles that is columella. And cochlea will be spiral, spirally coiled. So you have three semicircular canals are present. So usually animals are unisexual. Testis in male and ovaries in female. Testis are present in scrotal sacs. Ovaries are present inside the body. And the penis is present in males for copulation. Fertilization is internal, which takes place in fallopian tubes. So development is internal, occurs inside the uterus. So development is internal. So extra embryonic membranes are extra embryonic membranes are amnion, chorion. Allantosis and yolk sac are found in embryo. So that's why amniota. So we have reptiles, birds, mammals are amniota. And eggs are alicital, means no yolk sac, are micro -lichital. Uh, which is smaller yolk sac and homolicital, uniformly distributed yolk sac, except eggs of prototherians, which is duckbill platypus, those will be having megalicital. So, megalicital for uh, prototherians. Placenta is present, so these animals are called placental mammals. And we have placenta is for nutrition, respiration and excretion of embryo. Most of the mammals are viviparous. Some of the mammals are oviparous. So those we call it as prototherians. Some uh, therians and some are uh, ovoviviparous. So metatherians. Parental care is well marked in mammals. So let's see some of the examples here. Ornithorhynchus. Ornithorhynchus, which is duckbill platypus, and this is oviparous. And coming to the viviparous, macropus, kangaroo, and teropus, flying fox, which is a bat. Camelus, camel, macaca, monkey, ratus, 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 which is rat, which is an example for totonym. Canis, dog, pelis, cat, elephus, elephant, equus, horse, 
Delphinus, dolphin. Balanoptera. Balanoptera is blue whale. Panthera tigris. Panthera tigris, which is tiger. Panthera leo. Lion. Living mammals are classified mainly into three subclasses. Let's see the subclasses. Prototheria. So prototheria are primitive egg-laying mammals are included. So egg, uh, eggs are large yolk and shell. We have a megalithical, which is more yolk sac. More yolk will be there. And mammary glands are without nipples. Without uh, nipples. And gynecomastism is found in these animals. Because both males and females will both feed their children. Mammary glands will be functional for both males and females. That was a very fascinating thing. And it has a cloaca. Cloaca is present. And testis is abdominal. You can find the testis in the abdomen itself. Pinna is absent, but cochlea is less coiled. Carpus callosum is also absent. Carpus callosum is absent. And toothless horny beak is present in adult mammals, adult animals, but teeth is present in childhood. Uh, when it's getting adult, it will go off. They, these are partially homeothermic animals. You can found this in Australia. New Guinea, Tasmania, only one order is there for this uh, subclass. Let's see the another subclass which is Metatherians. Metatheria are otherwise called marsupials. An abdominal uh, pouch, we call it as marsupium, is found in these animals. They are immature young ones, are developed till maturity. Mammary glands are present and nipples also found in these mammary glands. They are situated in marsupium. We, uh, the very fascinating thing is it has two vagina, two clitoris. and two uteri are present in female and bifid penis is present in males. And bifid penis is present in males. And yolk sac and placenta is also found. Example, kangaroo. Let's see the third subclass. Eutheria, true mammals. So they give birth to mature child. True placenta is found where it is uh, alanto-chorionic type. And cochlea is highly coiled. Nipples are well developed in mammary glands. Uh, uterus and vagina is single for this. Only one uterus, one vagina is present in female and penis is simple. Corpus callosum is highly developed. Complete endothermic. And eutheria has 16 orders. So we'll see some of the orders here. That is order primata. Primata. So most are developed mammals will be there in this. And we have a plantigrade, large and highly convoluted cerebral hemisphere. So that's why these are more intelligent animals. 
man monkey lemur apes gibbons gorilla chimpanzee and out of this gorilla is the largest ape and uh, pan chimpanzees are the intelligent in apes most intelligent and orangutan so orangutan is man of forest we call it as it is found in indonesia homo sapiens which is finally man homo sapiens man okay so these are the things regarding the topic of birds and mammals i hope uh, it is quite informative if you find any doubts or any questions please put in the comment box please do subscribe and if you like the video like it thank you